and welcome back to Music Free Gaming. I hope you're having a fabulous day this lovely, lovely Thursday. And uh, oh, it's gonna be great. We're gonna we're gonna grind. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> but I've got a tower to raise. Also, I decided to go with yellow today. Um, actually, I think when I'm on Tinker World, I think I'm gonna use the yellow overlays. And when I'm on going solo, I'll be back in the blue overlays. So. You know, just so there's a little bit of a visual distinction between them as I go back and forth. And I don't use the yellow one often. So, you know, why not? All right. So, let us... Oh, I just realized I'm in the wrong place on my desktop because that's a thing that happens. All right. Cool. Let's jump over into the game. Ah, All right. Hey, White Top. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. All right, I'm in the right place on my stream deck because, you know, it helps sometimes if you have all the right things open. <laughs> hey, Snoopers, how's it going? You know, my webcam really blends into that uh, that frog light when I've got the yellow frame. <laughs> okay. Doing okay, that is excellent. All right, now that we have a design for the walls of the tower, it's time to bring this thing all the way up there. And I was grinding a little bit off stream, with some lovely chats with uh, White Top as we cleaned this area out. I'm gonna put the main entrance to this tower right over here somewhere. But I think said uh, today, we're gonna, <sighs> this tower, Yellow is the best. That's right, I forgot. You did say that yellow was your favorite color. All right. Okay, so let's bring this back up. Let's jump over here. And let's see, how do I want to do this? Um, probably get very confused, which is honestly par for the course. Um, all right. Let's run that some some stuff this way okay cool let's get a little uh replay mod going and then let's see if i can remember how this thing actually goes together you know because that's oh hang on okay because i will 100 percent confuse myself it's not hard okay one two three I've already confused myself. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. Oh, I have torches around here somewhere, right? Yep. Awesome. Also, I have a feeling we're about to get all dark and scary, which, you know, is a thing that happens on a regular basis, I suppose. All right. Cool. So that's going to go that way. I should probably think about doing some other things, but... Uh, no, no. None of this is going to make any sense at all. That is fine. If I wanted something to make sense, I would have done something else. All right. Cool. So stairs are going to go. Make sure I do this right. There and there. Oops, not that way. I have no idea if I'm... Jeez. Oh, I have no if I, idea if I'm going to get this tower done correctly, but... Should be a space and then stairs. Oh, cool. I think I screwed it up already. Awesome. Going offline to watch my stream. Well, thank you for watching. Yep, I screwed that up. It's okay, this is an easy fix. All right. And, uh, <clears throat> One of these days, I will get blocks in the right place. Until then, we're just going to deal with the, the epic fail. All right. So one and two. All right, so these are gonna come back this way. And again, assuming I have counted correctly, Okay. 
that those stairs are now lost forever. All right, so that goes there, and then let's see, I did slabby, slabby, and well, one of those is in the right place. That's honestly, that's not bad for for uh, what I do. <laughs> Your ad internet is really s sad today. I'm sorry to hear that. Sad internet is no fun. Come on. That is that right? Oh, right. Cool beans. Um, yeah. I don't yet have a like a system for getting all of these in. So expect these first few sections to be uh, really, really awkward. Okay, but hey, awkward is something I can. I, well, let's just life. I'm really good at awkward. Okay. Cool. So that's going to go there. And let's clean back this hill just a touch. Okay. Cool. So trap and doors. Yeah. Oh, this is so weird. All right. No, I'll I'll figure this out at some point today. Yeah, on this on this first f floor, you know, we've got all of the cool decorative nonsense on the outside, which I love. This is good decorative nonsense. I'm a big fan. But also, all right, I'm gonna have to figure out a better way of doing that. Oh, yes. <laughs> Skill, talents, I have neither. Hey, Grillo, welcome, welcome. Or Thomas, I'll go with that. Thomas is good, whatever. Hi, <laughs> I remember names. Okay, anyway, Thomas, what were you working on on the, the server before you decided to jump over here and join all the, the total derpage that we got happening here? Okay, cool. So that's going to go there. Let's get the lights in place, and then we'll see what other fun's going on. You know what would be really cool? Floors. Floors would be really cool. That's what I need here. Floors. What about stairwells in the mansion? Nice. Very nice. All right, so let's see. First things first, we've got ourselves. Uh, not reaching that is not going to be a thing. Okay, cool. Wow, this is... Ah, man. All right. I'm definitely going to have to uh, figure out a better workflow than this because this is going to take all day should make scaffolding but I've got plenty of bamboo what I need is string I've got 11 so I could do 11 sets of scaffolding which is like a stack I just completed the roofing on all the buildings okay oh right fancy schmancy blocks highly recommend all the fancy and schmancy all right because that's going to be hidden Let's do it this way. Okay. If I decide I do need something else, maybe I'll do those top ones when I do the other floor. That'll be fine. Okay. Cool. So, this is... All right, so this is going to be funky. Oh, yeah. Go there, that'll go up there. But I didn't need this floor in place anyway, you know. Okay, so that's gonna go up there and like there. Sweet. Now, let's go ahead and just get all of the cobblestone in place. 
and then I'll everything will be great. Oh, yeah, what I should do. Make sure I'm doing Ah, cheese monkeys. What I should do is maybe put the cobblestone in the right place. Yeah, there is a spider farm. Yeah, I've I remember seeing it. I just haven't gone to uh get the string. I've got the so set. I've got like 11 string which uh is some not like a huge amount, but it's definitely some. How? What else I need? Flight. I need to fly. <laughs> Some things are a significantly easier in creative. And, well, I oh, have not done actually any of this in creative. It's definitely easier to. Upsy daisy. There we go. Much better. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I can do it. You know, one of these days, I said, I'll, I'll get a system, and this will be significantly easier. But for now, let's see. What is it? This row? Uh, Yeah. Okay. Okay, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Get ourselves some cherry logs. Hey, carp! How's it going? Welcome back. Go there and like that. Cool. Uh, I I don't think I'm gonna do. Let's not do those sides at the moment. Let's just get this. Let's just get this up. I think maybe. I think maybe I want to change approaches here, which. It's not surprising. Let's see if I can get a better system in place for this. And you're right. Maybe I should build some, get some scaffolding here. Mob drops. That's plants. Mob drops. String. Let's see. Plenty of bamboo. Okay. Nice. I think just to make my inventory a little bit happier, drop that off. Okay. All right. So I think what I'll do is we'll just, I'm just going to do towers. Cool. So that puts this one. Yeah. Right where that torch is. Aha thing. It happens. How high do I need to go? I need to go up to uh 120. Lovely. Thought I saw something scary down there. Ah, you know what? I did that wrong. I'm gonna hate myself for that. Okay, because what I should have done was uh, get the floors going across and all that fun stuff. Cool. Well, I guess... Ah, oh, yes, I did see a zombie. Nice. It's because it's dark as heck on this hill. Well, that's fine. A zombie can burst into flames somewhere else. He's... I don't know where he's bursting into flames, but I bet he's going to enjoy his all his flame bursting. All right. All right, so what I'll do is we'll go up and I'll just cut through the wall there. Cool, because planning. Okay, planning is a thing. Ah, we'll do this. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. Yes, yes. Okay. Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. And yeah, we should be at Y. Oh, right, just above that. So Y93 is where I should be at. I am. Cool. All right. Yeah, and because I screwed up the other bit here, let's just, just cut through here. Yeah, it might be easier. I don't know for sure, but it might be easier to uh, get the detailing in with, you know, a thousand scaffolding or something. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, I think this is right. It's not, it's going to be annoying, but annoying happens a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Fortunately, we ended up getting a lot of snow stone while we were cleaning out the, the bottom area here. All right. I see a snoopers. Hey, snoopers. Okay, so let's see if I can say so this is, I think this is going to be easier and then I won't have to worry about, uh, but this is, it's going to be, a, this is going to be a little grindy. There's no way around that. Okay, hopefully I've got enough stone brick to uh, get up there. I think I do. Five, six, seven. Oh, man. Oh, strange how that happens. Thank you, Snoopers. <laughs> so I've got bamboo. I just needed to make a run to the uh, uh, spider farm. But... So if you need bamboo, uh, feel free to grab some out of the chest. It's uh, by the light. You're getting a string as well. Nice. Okay. That is 120, right? Yes. Perfect. Yeah, so weird. I know. It's strange how all that happens, right? All right. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put a torch there. That'll mark that center thing anyway. Cool. Ow. All right, down, down, in, into pain. There's lots of pain here. Okay. All right, let's grab some more stone, or stone brick. I think I should have... Okay, excellent. Oh, cool. So... Oh, yep. Pretty sure I'm getting what little XP there is from that. All right. Let's get the other side up. Hmm. How much more oak do I have? That's another very interesting question that I don't have an answer to. Ah. Some. Okay. Twill serve. All right. Because what I, what I want to do is when I get up to some of these floors, I actually want to put floors in. I want to do this. Well, I, I just just use this lovely scaffolding that just showed up. That'll work. All right. Nice. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, right. Okay. Center post is going to be an issue, isn't it? That's all right. Got enough scaffolding. It'll work. All right. Center post is right here. Yeah, I think so. 
That's five diamonds per hour. Yeah. I have very few diamonds. We're, uh, at, that's... Arkish. All right. Let's just... Uh, Okay, we'll do this side. We'll bring this side all the way up to... Oh, I that's right. I need to go up a little higher. All right. Uh, what is that? 127. Cool. And this is why I have mini HUDs, so I can always see those coordinates up on the top left. Makes it really easy to see what's going on. Six, seven. 127. All right. Yeah, see, this is basically where the top floor is going to be because we've got this nice, we connect nicely to that hill. Ow. Hmm. You know, I don't need knees. You know, I'm in my 40s. My knees are shot. I wouldn't mind getting new ones. All right. Down we go. Could also probably use a few more torches. All right. Yeah, on the inside, it won't be as big a deal once I get all of the frog lights in place, but. All right, so. Uh... Oh, I was hoping to sort of Tarzan that. Just grab those vines, you know? It would have been great. But no. All right, so what would be the efficient way of doing this? I think the efficient way is going to be to pillar up all the way and basically do the same thing I did over there. So, okay, what do you know? I'm standing on the block. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a really weird time lapse, I think. Okay, so 127. Now nah, it's going to be here. All right, nice. I should also mention that, you know, between streams, uh, I'm, I don't know what that sound was, but it was scary. Now, between streams, I meandered back to, uh, to our, our villager area. And got feather falling boots, and upgraded a pickaxe or two, you know. Missed it. It was good. So, yeah, it's, it's going to make uh, working on some of this a lot easier. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which should put this at 100. Yes. Cool. All right, nothing too, hopefully nothing too crazy. At least that's the theory. All right. We got this, right? Sure we do. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're going to have all the a little a little crazy. But that's fine. I I like crazy. Crazy's good. Okay, so here we go again. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 because counting is cool. So again, I should be at 107. Two is also 107. All right. You know, that's a long way down. <laughs> you know, just just a little bit. I don't like heights. This is, though honestly, I don't, this doesn't bother me nearly as much as bridging across the void does. In the, oh, that, that's a heck of a thing. So that's 
should be 114. I am on 114. Okay. Yeah, that just... Whew, no, that just freaks me out. <laughs> Watching the... Uh, my last going solo stream last week, man. It's like... Eh, getting across this is not cool. Cool, man. Also, I'm leaving this gap because I don't know what this is going to look like as this uh, tower goes up, so... So right now I'm just going to to leave it as a uh, as a marker as a gap something I'll get filled in. Yep, it'll be good. All right, so let's get through this wall. Now I think I've already decided a lot a lot of buffering. Oh, bummer. Everything's looking healthy on my end. Now you've got me paranoid. Let me double check. Stream health. Yep, yeah, stream health is good on this side. According to uh, YouTube's little uh, stream health thing. Yeah, it's... I like streaming on YouTube. But, you know, there are days. It's uh, really tall. It is really tall. It is definitely getting up there. Two, five, six, seven. Yep. I can count, too. This is, this is good. <laughs> um, one of these things is not like the other. I said I could count, but, uh... <laughs> I seem to be off by one. <laughs> okay, now the question is which one of these is off? <laughs> All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, that one's right. These ones are wrong. Cool. Because counting is, yeah, a thing that I apparently can't do. Alright. Got it. Right. Sure. Sneak that one in there because that would just be really, really annoying. Alright, so that's 128. That's 127. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I see where I'm off. Ugh, ugh. All right, ma'am. I'm off on the floor below me. Cool. No, oh, everything's good. See, that's why I wanted to check at every floor, and I totally didn't this one, right? Because this one's at 121, and it should be at 120. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, that one's wrong. This one's wrong. <laughs> okay. <sighs> nice. That one's wrong. All right, that's what I get for trusting past me. Future me should know that this is not a thing that should happen. I should never trust past me. Past me is bad at Minecraft. It's future me that's good at Minecraft. And, uh... Alright. Just, uh... Fix that side. Never trust past me, man. Oh, Alright, well, that whole side is... All right, so yeah, we've got to fix that one. Holy buffering's on your end. Oh, right, okay. Paying Comcast and, oh, geez. So that's the first step, paying Comcast, you know. You uh, just didn't pay for your service. All right, sorry, I'm gonna 
get distracted by lighting up the build. All right. Cool. So I think what the plan is, let's go ahead and run. Let's get the horizontals in place here. Okay. And again, hopefully this will all, hopefully this will all work out. Acknowledging that I screwed up the top of that far side. I can blame White Top. We were talking yesterday and, you know, obviously I can't talk and count at the same time, so. That's, that's how this goes, right? All right, which, what block is that? That's at uh, minus 697, okay. Which would be that one right there. Okie dokie. Alright, so now let's see how many other ways I can screw up my counting, but <clears throat> we'll get there. Yeah, I think having this the skeleton Wow. Mm. Wow, so much for my voice. Yeah, I think having the skeleton in place first is gonna make building the rest of it easier. This thing is gonna be nuts. All right, no, we're good. We're fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I do remember that that was at level 100. So, cool. <clears throat> yeah, no, I don't think I'm gonna do the decorations on this side. Partly because I think I've got some plans that might be better if I don't. <clears throat> See, I was looking at this, and one of the things is that this tower is so big that it's pretty much bigger than just about any base I've ever worked on. Mm. Also, I'm now out of stone. Cool. <clears throat> So, because I don't typically do, like, mega bases and stuff. Well, this is sort of qualifying for, if not mega, at least kind of sort of large. So, <laughs> we're gonna, I think what I might do is say just make this my, my main base. And then if I decide I need an area for farms and stuff, I'll go build an industrial area. So, yeah, that should be all sorts of good, I think. Something. All right, and I have managed to not bring this up. Oh, right, actually, that I don't want there anyway. Right, because I am right. This here is I'm going to be putting another angle on the building over here. So let's go and take this down a little bit. Yeah. Okay, and this is going to come down. Right, because just like I've got sort of an angle on that side, or that's the have a planned angle on that side. I'm gonna put an angle on this side. We're just gonna we're just gonna do that. But also, since I'm right here by my bed, let's sleep. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Yeah, no, nah, this'll be Yeah, this will be fine. Except for the, hey, I need to put my head through this, uh, and I do need to tear that out, but I'll do that in a little bit. All right, so how many was that? One, two, three, All right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Sweet. I mean, other than the fact I don't want that there. That's cool. All right, let's, we'll come back to that. Let's run this across and then we'll do that. Main base. That might mean I, I should probably think about putting my permanent storage room over here. And I'm thinking of cutting it into some of these walls here where, um, okay. Yeah, where I can put things inside the mountain and not have to worry about eating up the sort of limited space I have inside the tower, right? Okay, so this needs to come out here. Yeah, now I'm not entirely sure how well that's going to function, but you know, we'll do it. All right, so what is that block here? 705, nice. So 705 is going to be that one. Okay. Right, counting. Six, seven. All right, and then all of this comes out because again, there's gonna be an angle there. All right. Yeah, now this, yeah, let's just get the framework up. It's fine, we'll let it happen. All right, so the center of this is somewhere because I didn't mark it, cool. 713, which is this way. 713, I guess that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we got it. Yes, by my superior math skills. Seven. You have the buffering too? Yeah, it's... So I, I kind of wonder perhaps if it's not... Um, if it isn't YouTube at least a little bit. But... <laughs> But as you assume, assume it's you? Yeah, I mean, it's... So, I don't know, so maybe it's just uh, YouTube is not transcoding everything properly. Two, three, four, five, six. Ah, okay. There's trees in the way. I don't have my hoe on me, it's okay. 14, there we go. I don't remember having Twitch. You know, what's a year and a half ago, but actually, let's mark that there. I will need another marker up here as well, but okay. Four, five, six, seven. Yep. If it feels like, oh man, he's really feeling the grind. Yep. Yep. That is exactly what's happening. I am feeling the grind. That's okay. I'm not gonna be gonna be huge, but it's gonna be cool. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, but yeah, so so thinking that yeah, if I dig a sorting system into the sides of the mountain here and a stupid rabbit too. Five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, I keep uh, interrupting myself. But yeah, I could squeeze it into the mountain. Wouldn't have to worry about eating up the space inside the tower. So it'll still look really cool. And all, all that nice compact loveliness. But five, six, seven. And, you know, I could just make this my main base of operations and, you know, it'll be all sorts of fun. And yeah, that's totally in the wrong place. 
Awesome. Because I keep throwing throwing off my groove, you know? And, you know, when you throw off the Emperor's groove, it just doesn't end well for anybody. All right. But there's a movie that was surprisingly good. I, I didn't like it the first time, The Emperor's New Groove. First time I watched it, it's like, no, nah, this is... this. What again? And it's like, okay, this movie is amazing, and why did I hate it so much? I know why. It's because the guy who plays the Emperor. But that is... That's an actor I, I don't particularly like. And I forgot his name, but I just don't like his brand of comedy, mostly. And so, you know... As he's playing the emperor, he plays the emperor in exactly the type of way of type of character that I don't like, and that's sort of the point. But man, that's that's so much fun, though. I really need to get some Emperor's New Groove quotes on my soundboard. I've got a bunch of other movie quotes, which uh, you can actually play. I've got it. Bunch of uh, uh, bot commands. You know, so as you watch, you earn tickets, sort of like channel points on Twitch. But then you can use them to, you know, do cool stuff like play movie quotes and show gifts and stuff. One oh seven, which is cool. Yep, I actually have it set up so that uh, you're using the use uh, exclamation point GIF in chat and then whatever search term. Yeah, so let me see here. Um, what would be the easiest way to do this? Okay. I don't know why I'm pausing because pausing is not going to do anything. Let's see. Musicfreegaming.com, which is a site that should be Bookmarked in everybody's web browser everywhere. There we go. That's not what I'm looking for. All right. There's a shorter version of this command here. Drop a command. Now, this should rotate through as well as part of the reminders, but that web page has all sorts of ways that you can use the... Uh, Use the tickets with, because it's cool and stuff. Said you can fuse just the exclamation point tickets. It'll tell you how many you have. And then two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then, yeah, you can do all sorts of good stuff. Now, it does take in a moment because mix it up sometimes a little bit slow, but. There it is. <laughs> yeah, it's just a the nature of uh, YouTube chat. It's just YouTube chat is not nearly as good as Twitch. Two, five, six, seven. Yep, and you get your tickets by uh, just watching the stream. I forgot. I think it's a, I don't know, it may, might be a tick in a minute or something like that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So assuming I counted correctly. All right, that's going to have to go, which is fine. Torch was actually a marker. Two, three, three, five, six, seven. Right, because I screwed up this. Yes, that's right. I screwed this one up. All right, because that should be. Yeah, because that's 121. This is 121. Cool.
Okay, and let's not spleef myself. That would be, that would be really uncomfortable, plummeting down to the base of my tower. I'm not 100% sure I'd survive it. No bed. Uh, I do not have a bed with me. I left it in my house. So, yeah, for the moment, I am bedless. I am the bedless horseman, just without the horse and, you know, without the bed. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's like, wait a minute. I'm out. I'm out. Yep, I'm out. Cool. All right, so this... Ah, okay. Smooth. That was the smoothest of the smooth. I have never been so smooth. All right. There we go. Cool. Let's go ahead and just take this line out now. All right, and then I'll just worry about it from the other side. Actually, I have to take this whole line out anyway because it's just wrong. Ooh, it looks like there's fun stuff happening over at the castle across the way, which is cool. All right. Plop. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, and what I'm going to do once I've got the tower in place, um, yeah, I will do a little bit of terraforming on this hill. So when it comes over this way, it connects to the tower and, you know, so it doesn't look as, it, it just doesn't look quite as messed up as I think is what I'm getting at here. Three, four, five, six, seven. So that should match 128, 128. Okay. Six, seven, and eight should put me actually right. That should be the center. That is the center. Awesome. Pretty cool. This is this thing is huge. I might have said that before, but literally not something I hear very often, but this is, uh, is this, this, oh yeah, the <laughs> this thing is definitely going to be up there, isn't it? All right, well, you know, it'll be fun though. I'm happy with it. Yeah, it's just going to be, uh, ouch. Uh, it's just going to take forever. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm actually a little bit overwhelmed. You know, oops, that's not at all a block. No. I'm a little overwhelmed at how tall this tower is. Okay. All right, so we'll just hop over here. Get a... Nice, we'll clean this out. And we'll take this out because it's not supposed to be here. Oh, that thing is gonna be nuts. So I'm gonna need to get so much oak. I know what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> Look, we need to go grind some oak trees so I get floors in and ladders and stairs and something. But, okay. All right, let's go ahead and stop that recording for a minute. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah, I, I am starting to get a, a feel for what the scope of this building is. And yeah, uh, okay. I mean, look at this. Look at this. 
it, it this is a big hill and this is a big tower and oh, it's gonna look cool when i get it in but oh my also let's see so we're gonna have decor decorations here and i think this floor and then this floor and then that floor something all right <laughs> cool i think this is gonna work <laughs> and floors and ladders and oh yeah oh my is right okay okay i think now i need to invest in scaffold technology also let's, let's pick up my droppings you should always pick up your droppings out okay All right, so we're not gonna do that side right now. Cool. Now it is time to start with some of the decorations and stuff. Now, first things first, let's, uh, let's get up here and get this uh, lock in place. All right, cool. Now again, nobody's gonna see that because there's a hill in the way, but it's gonna look uniform on the inside, which is kind of what I'm looking for. All right, let's go take the scaffolding down. So, did I pick it all up? No, no, I did not. All right, let's see, I think, which side do I wanna do first? I think I'm gonna do this side, this by my door. That seems like a reasonable thing to do and I don't know I said I want this I said every other one to be a little bit flat so again the idea is to uh, basically not be quite so busy and I think the uh, the way that's gonna work is plain sort of boring ish I'll still put the frog lights in and stuff eventually but yeah we'll just do cobblestone which i'm going to need a lot more cobblestone than i have so let's let's get some and then we'll just uh then we'll worry about you know building the rest of this thing up all right let's go ahead and get some more time lapsey goodness going Um, it's not right, is it? Skip one. Skip it is right. No, that's not right. Oh, jeez, monkeys. Oh, it's not a bad shape. It's just not the right one. Oh, congratulations to me. I've screwed it up again. <sighs> oh, right. Actually, I think about the floor. Um, yep. And then we square and then we just, okay. Yep. Cool. All right. So, yeah, so this is going to have to go here like so. Yeah, no. This is absolutely the coolest. All right. All right. Yeah, somewhere here. And actually, I don't think I necessarily miscounted. I think I've just was missing a row is the way this works. Okay, because, yeah, see, we've got, guy was just missing that. All right, cool. Go ahead and, I think, bring my bed with me. <laughs> if I die, do I have more wool? 
I don't think I do. Nope. All right. Well, we'll just leave it there. I'd rather worry about spawning here and just hope that other people can. Okay. So let's. Right. Ugh. Curse my desire to have all of the blocks in the right place. And, you know, dealing with directional blocks. Right. Yeah, because I'll just have to go around out front and get the... get all of the trap doors and the... and then I can get the frog lights in. Okay, no, we got this. It's fine. I'm just going to confuse the heck out of myself probably three or four more times uh, on each round, I think, is how this is going to work. All right. Perfect. Let's go ahead and we'll just, just run scaffolding right up here. All right. Cool. And I don't have a lot of have a lot of oak here, so I may end up may end up replacing some, but or not not doing as much as I'd like or something. No, if that, you could totally tell, I am absolutely feeling the all of the whelmed, so much whelmed. we go. Alright, we'll just, you know, you focus on one block at a time. Like, how do you eat an elephant? With barbecue sauce. It's the same principle. Okay? Absolutely the same principle. So we're just going to uh, sauce it up and, you know, get this, this built in place. I know some people say you, you eat an elephant one bite at a time, but really the barbecue sauce is the important part of that. Okay. Forget the barbecue sauce, and then that one bite at a time just isn't nearly as much fun for either you or the elephant. So, you know, you gotta you gotta keep these things in mind when you're eating your elephants. Alright, so that goes there. And right, another block, see if we can't that. Okay. Okay, yeah, see this is gonna this is gonna work. Once I remembered how the pattern actually goes, it's it works. Alright, so that goes in there. Not like that. That's wrong. No, no. Let's let's not let's not get too wrong here. Oh, I should probably do this from the top or something so that I can. Okay. You know, also there's floor there, so, you know, yeah, I found hitting one's head on the floor is not as much fun as it sounds. And I do try to avoid doing that on a regular basis, you know? Because otherwise it just hurts. And that's not fun for anybody. And laughter, I've heard, is the best medicine. So, you know, by smashing your head in front of people, does that, like, improve their health? I guess it depends on how funny you are when you do it. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our... Oh, I had a laugh today too, so that's the wrong block. The Endermen are falling. Well, it is that time of year. You know, it's... Spring is coming, you know, and with it, the 
fall of the Enderman. No, anyway, I, I was, as I was saying, I had to laugh today because a massive storm come through. And it was doing bad things to a lot of Colorado. And, you know, they were looking at the forecast, you know, winter weather warnings and all this fun stuff, right? And so the local school district said, all right, yesterday, they said, we are going to close school tomorrow because snow is bad and stuff. It snowed. None of it stuck. We've just got wet streets and stuff, you know. So, you know, it's like, given that it's spring break next week and they don't have, um, uh, they don't have uh, classes on Friday, kind of figured that they just, you know, wanted to have a, some free time. We need to cut up some more stairs. But yeah, it, it just gave me a chuckle. It's like, oh yeah, everybody panic. We got stuff happening, everybody. Yeah. And I appreciate wanting to keep students safe. I'm I'm kind of actually a fan of that. But Yeah, it just uh But it fizzled out really hard and I just had to laugh. Cool. Let that cook because I know I'm going to need more here in the not too distant future. And that distant future is kind of like now. Okay. Don't do that. Okay. I thought I had more cooked, but apparently not. And yeah, you can't just put cobblestone in, so all right. Well, this should be this should be enough for a little while anyway. All right. Into the grind. Ah, okay. Or, you know, the falling off, that's also a thing. Okay, because now these ones, it's in the center, right? Okay, where we take our happy, happy cherry logs. Wow, that was that was bad. We can do this. It's, it's fine. Um, what I can't do is that, though. I'd like to put this. I wonder if I could accurate block place. Yes, I can. Nice. And allowing me to cheat in fun ways. I'm not. I don't. I, I, well, ouch. See. Now I'm paying for it. Cool, so let's see. Right, down one. Okay, so there, 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 and then, boom. Nice. And I'll get the trap doors and the other stuff in place when it's time. Right, yeah. That is the plan. Oh, right, and I don't have any. All right, well, the stone will be cooked here. All right, let's go put that in place. Let's see if that stone is done, and we'll throw some more in there, hopefully. Oh, further down. Yeah, 
Yes, I, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Okay. And it's not done cooking. And that's not done cooking. It's not done cooking. Appreciate putting a snapshot updates on my Discord. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yeah, I was. That is awesome. Um, yeah, it just pulls straight from the uh, the uh, um, Minecraft, official Minecraft Discord. And I like seeing it. Actually, I think I'm going to be talking about um, the new Mace on the, the podcast next week, but it's got some, there's some interesting things there. So I think that that'll be fun. But yeah, it's, it's really cool to sometimes track what they're working on. It was fun seeing the evolution of the armadillo and like right now they've they've been making some changes like to how wool farmer works. You know, the the breeze has gone from dropping breeze charges to breeze rods, you know, so they're more along the more analogous to blazes and that type of thing. So that's been cool. Okay, come on lava. One of you needs to fill up. <laughs> yeah, I might need a bigger smelter. <laughs> but yeah, and it's cool. And I've, and even though I don't play Bedrock, I decided to pull the Bedrock up with their family, or that's just what they've got. So I figured, hey, let's dump those updates there too, and yeah, you know, so everybody can kind of see, you know, what what fun things are coming. But yeah, the there's some fun stuff. The mace is gonna be interesting. If they don't tweak it a little bit before the release, I'd be surprised. Cause they will absolutely <laughs> need to do something because at this point you can one shot a ravager with the mace. I'm not sure that's what they want. I think you can, people were saying that you could one shot a, a wither if you are really careful about it. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, well, the, the mace memes are gonna be fun, you know, right? Because, you know, as, as was once said, you know, it's all about that mace, right? You just, yep, all about that mace, right there, that mace. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, I've gotten sillificated. I, this is making me silly. <laughs> and also it bugs me that it's a, it looks like a hammer. It looks nothing like a mace. A mace is a stick with a big, usually just a ball. It's not that big. It's usually maybe this big, sort of a ball. And sometimes it's got uh, points. Sometimes it's got, more geometric, but it's not huge. And the the hammer they've got, it is big. It looks like Mjolnir from the uh, from the Marvel movies. It's just big. That's a hammer. Now, if they were to uh, actually heal my pickaxe at the same time, if they were to sit there and actually maybe give the hammer something cool to do like it's yes it's a weapon but maybe it can also um i don't know do something cool like break gravel into sand or break stone into gravel right so it becomes more of like a like the hammer you'll see in some mod packs and things like that that could be really cool. Yeah, because then it becomes right now. And so I, I need to think about it a little bit before I really brag on it too much. But right now, I'm just not 100% sure that it's worth 
keeping in one's inventory, you know? And, right, I'm on the decorative level here, correct? No. Past the decorative level. All right, good. That's that's easy. So, okay, we'll just bring this across. Ow! All right, we won't bring that across. We'll just uh, pretend. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that can go right. Or not. Yeah, every once in a while I want that little bit of extra reach. Not all often, not all the time, but every once in a while. Yeah, that's gonna look cool coming up. I might do something else in these blank spaces, but for now I kind of like where we're at. Also, should be resuming. Recording. All right, so there's going to be a little jump in the time lapse, but no one will notice. I play it back at like 200 times speed, so it's like, how else do you get two hours of gameplay into like a minute and a half? Got it. All right, so this is all going to slide in like this. Yeah, because again, it's, it's, a, it's a pattern. It kind of goes. So there will be floors every level. Yes. How decorated they're going to be, I don't know. <laughs> Interiors are not my uh, strong suit by any means. But yeah, there is definitely going to be floors. Every, every single one of those oak blocks is going to be, or marks where the floor is going to be. There it is. I can words. As my daughter once said, English that and run it back. Or send it back, I think is how she put it. Alright, so that's all going to come in this way. Alright, let's just get the cobblestone in and then I'll get the, the wood in. Right, because this is this is decorative floor. Okay. And let's see. So it's one, two, three. Cool. All right. Where's my cherry? If that's a golden carrot. It's kind of like a cherry, but it doesn't work nearly as well as that. That's not where that's going to go. Like that. Okay. Nice. Um, do I have darkness happening here? A little bit. Just a little bit. Cool. All right. And this side. Yeah, I so said I could... I've, the first floor is going to be just an entryway. I'm not going to do anything uh, overly crazy with that. I will have some horse parking, and I am going to have it with a pass-through that heads in, in through the, the crack here into the cave. Beyond that, um, I don't know. Yeah, so that'll be decorative. It's going to have horse parking and things like that. But I have no idea what's going to go on the rest of the floors. Said a couple of them. I will absolutely be doing some form of sorting system. And what that looks like. Well, I know what it's going to look like. It's going to look like a wall of chests because that's just what sorting systems look like. But... But those will stick out if they go into the hillsides there. And that will keep uh, that will keep the redstone hidden while still giving me plenty of room to... Uh, ouch! Giving me plenty of room to move around on the inside of whatever the building is doing. 
Ok. You know, I like scaffolding. And I was like, where the heck did that block end up getting put? Ok. Alright. Yeah, I know there are some people, like, you know, good times with Scar, who just hate scaffolding with a fiery passion of a thousand suns. But, I like scaffolding. Is it perfect? No, it's not. But, all right, and then this one, I need to come up here, get this one in. All right. Yeah, and then once I get this, I'll have to go around the outside, so I get a lot of the decorations in place. You know, all, this, all of the trap doors, which is real pain and stuff, but, you know, it'll work. Ah, cheese monkeys. Those are the wrong ones. 100% the wrong ones. Okay. Yep. That's, that's great. Okay. This is what happens. You, you fall down off the tower, you kind of forget where you are. I suppose if I fell, like, two stories, I'd forget where I was, too. You know, it's something about that level of fall, it's like, you know, maybe that's just going to throw me off just a touch. Okay. Yeah. That'll be good. I'm kind of thinking, too, so this is going to look great with all of the um, all of the bamboo stuff in place, the bamboo um, trap doors and things. But yeah. also looking at it, I'm kind of wondering if I shouldn't have some darker colors or something. Just because from a distance, right, you can see that dark from a distance, which looks cool. But then you, when you get the bamboo here, it's not, not quite as distinct. So I may end up taking the scaffolding off the those crosses. It's just one of those things that as you look at it in place, not just up close, but from a distance with the, the full build. Yeah, I, that I may just have to do that. Uh, so not that it looks bad it's just uh, said at a at a distance it just kind of feels a little bit lacking you know hopping up that's it i can do it i can hop on blocks i read that book when i was in uh, when i was a, a youngin you know fox and socks hopped on pop Right? I remember that book. It's a more stimulating read than a lot of things I read in school. Oh, man. You know, as much as I rag on my English classes and the fact that I was a math major, there was actually a lot of things. <laughs> you still have those books? Yeah, they're great, right? And I don't have enough blocks to finish this. Yeah, right. They're they're great books. Well, I was making a Dr. Seuss base. Sure. Well, I like reading Shakespeare. Right? I love Shakespeare. Shakespeare is great. Okay, some of his plays, like The Merchant of Venice, horrifically anti-Semitic and, you know... Not fabulous, right? Yeah. <laughs> the uh, anti-Semitism in that, that play is not fabulous. But I can't stand Hemingway. You know, the so-called great American authors. Like, yeah. 
No. No. Not. This isn't for me. Might be for someone else, but it is not for me. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of room here. And oh, am I out of scaffolding? I am out of scaffolding. Weird. Okay. Okay, I think. Yeah, this is this is good. I'm gonna have to go cook some more stone here in a minute because I didn't change that. I just rather than waiting for that stone to cook, I just grabbed what was there. And yeah, I I'm gonna be paying for it here in a minute. Oh, Dr. Seuss was so much fun. I had a book. I might don't know if I still have it or if we put that one on eBay, but I had a book that was Dr. Seuss's um, wartime cartoons. He was a, uh, he did uh, wartime propaganda for the allies during, uh, during one of the wars. I can't, I want to say it was World War II, but it might have been Korea. I don't remember if I got my dates right. And so, of course, being propaganda, it is everything that's wrong with propaganda, right? But it was just interesting to see that, oh, yeah, he definitely drew things other than Dr. Seuss, but you can see see his style still there. Oh, right, you have the same paperbacks at the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, you know? The Lord of the Rings is one of my favorite series. And I and one of the reasons I love it is the language. I love the way Tolkien uses language. And it's a little dense. <laughs> my copy of Lord of the Rings here, it's, it's hardcover, so it's holding up fairly well. And admittedly, I only... Uh, reread the series, you know, every year or so. Sometimes every couple of years. It depends on on what else I'm reading at the time. Every once in a while, I'll pull out uh, David Weber's Honor Harrington series, which is fabulous. But it's got like 26 books in the series, and that's a bit of a time commitment, you know? Love the series, but yeah, if I'm gonna get into that, you know. We're doing it about every year. Yeah, it's it's great. I mean it is such a such a good series. You know, and as much as I love Peter Jackson's movies, which are legitimately great. I do still complain a little bit about what they did to Faramir and all that stuff, you know? Okay, I'm going to leave the scaffolding here so I can get back up. And, yeah, okay, I've got trap doors. Yeah, because Faramir in the books never wavers in his decision to, you know, not claim the ring from the hobbits and that type of thing, right? Yeah, the Hobbit movies, they had issues. Let's see, how do I want to do this? We'll just do it this way. But yeah, it's just, but in the books, you know, they have Faramir, he's, where he's, nope, I'll take the hobbits to uh, Osgiliath, and that shall be a mighty gift for my father, and all that, you know. And Faramir was never like that. But, it was still good. All right, they st at least they still had a making the right choices. 
I would have loved to have seen the uh, scouring of the Shire in uh, in live action, but cause that was such an important part of the Hobbit's growth as as people. But yeah, the Hobbit movies. I could see making it too, right? Because they added a bunch of stuff from the Silmarillion, right? So I could, I could kind of understand that. Three was a little insane. Of course, it didn't help that Peter Jackson took over, not supposed to direct it. I forgot who was supposed to, but uh, it wasn't Peter Jackson. But when the director they had tapped for it backed out, it's like, okay, uh, hey, can you do this for us? I said, yeah, okay, I'll do that. Oh yeah, it's there are po parts of those movies that are really good. Um. Most of those parts do not include the orcs. Where did that go? Oh. Okay. Well, that was just silly. Yeah, because they decided to just CGI all the orcs, and that was just weird. But. And I, I, I didn't really like that... Uh, that ongoing story they had with the whoever that orc captain was and his beef with uh, Thorin. For that matter, I wasn't particularly thrilled with how they handled Thorin, but honestly, I think the best flavor of the best version of the Hobbit and Bass version that they did Back in, I think it was the 60s. That was really good. They did a version of Lord of the Rings too, but I think I saw it once. It was pretty forgettable. But the... But their version of The Hobbit... Yeah, it was a cartoon. It was an animated... Um, it was an animated movie. And Rankin Bass, this is the group, or Rankin Bass is the people that did, like, all those Christmas specials, you know, Rudolph and Santa Claus is coming to town and all that. But they did an animated Lord of the Rings that was just amazing. Oh, yeah. That song, The Greatest Adventure. Yep. They, Rankin Bass also did a version of The Last Unicorn, which is also amazing. The books are great, but the, uh, and certainly better than the movie, but they got the author of the books to come in and help them get the movie right, which is, which was nice. Ow. Okay. I don't know that I've actually read any of uh, any of the works. Name of the Wind. No, I haven't read those. So that's there. All right. Let's see now. We're doing on time. Oh, good. I'm gonna get to finish. Maybe. Oh, cheese monkeys. Did I forget one? I. F oh, I just didn't do this whole side. Cool. So, so no, I have not read those. Um, I would enjoy them very much. I'll have to take a look. See if they've got them at my library. All right. Trapped doors. That one, not that one. A <laughs> new bot mob vote. Yeah, cheese monkeys. Yeah. 
I don't remember exactly when I started saying that as a, just a general expletive, but <laughs> it's been a thing for a while. Which is why I have Cheese Monkey's merch up in the store. Okay, up we go. But yeah, I like it. I like a good fantasy uh, story. Some good sci-fi is, is always excellent too. I uh, I read a lot of Asimov when I was growing up. He's got some. He's got some really good stories. All right, down we go. Let's. There actually is a trick that you can just hit it and it'll drop you down at the right speed so you don't go plummeting to your doom. It's like you, you find the right spot, you just aim at the corner, but I don't know. Okay, here, let's go on up. Up the stairs. There we go. Okay, so we need some of that. Oh yeah, there we go. All the scaffolding. But I love a good story. Just and there's some fun ones like what was I you know, um come on. I can do this. You know, I did it over did I do it over there? No, I haven't done it on any of the other ones yet. Cool. Come on. Come on. I can there it is. Okay. Yeah, eventually I can get the timing right on that. So, a good Asimov book. So, darn it. Um, so, short stories. So, if you can find a collection of his, uh, his short stories, that's even better. But I, I'm just gonna sit here and flip this trap door up and down. It's gonna be cool. Okay, this is where I decide I hate scaffolding. Okay, um, but I would suggest um, the Positronic Man and um, oh, what was the other one? Nightfall. say I know I placed that block both excellent stories um, the short stories are phenomenal and there's a reason why they decided to make them into novels but okay all right let's see if I can nope there we go okay next one I'm putting the scaffolding in a different place It's facing the wrong way, which is not what I wanted. Okay. But they uh but they're they're really good. The Positronic Man, it's a this it's the story, it's about a sort of a household android. Right? So the bit of the future. Um Everybody likes to, uh, or everybody who has the money to can buy a, a, an Android to help out around the house, which is fun and exciting for, for people. And so this family, they buy this, uh, they buy this Android. And one of the kids really dislikes this thing and kicks it out a window or something. And damages it well they get it repaired but it uh it starts exhibiting some weird behavior and because of that you know they start looking into it but it ends up being uh it basically ends up being sentient and it so the story follows this this android's life 
as it tries to figure out what its what its place in the world is. Out. Okay. Fall down. And yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, right, you know what? This is not working. Let's do it this way. Um, so that was really cool. And then Nightfall, the story is um it's a planet in their in their uh historical records. Basically their civilization builds down burns down every couple of thousand years or something. Like literally, they can find they've got the layer of ash. And so the the story is them trying to figure out what the heck is going on because the next thousand years is just about up. So they're trying to figure out what's happening, what happened to the past societies before it happens to them. And it's a really, really cool story. But, uh, yep. Good. There's just some, some excellent stuff there. All right, let's go ahead and just come up this way because I've got some. Okay, so I... yes. Okay, so can I can I get this block where I want it? But Asimov's good. He wrote some some good short stories and said there's a reason he's so widely acclaimed as a sci-fi writer. Um, and for those of you who like books that have been turned into movies or TV shows, um, he wrote a, a series called Foundation, which is, let's bring this up one, uh, which is okay. Rothfuss is more fantasy. Yeah. See, I, I typically like fantasy more than, uh, sci-fi. But that's just because I like, when I read, I like finding books that help, right? Because, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with this escapism and, uh, and recreation, you know? So I, I like something with a little fantasy flair to it. I did find an author... Not too long ago. Um, she self-publishes. But she does um, sort of a steampunk fantasy. Which, which at least a lot of her books tend to fall into that. Not all of them. She did one that was sort of sci-fi. But, uh, but I've read a number of her series now. And. Those are fun. Or said David Weber said his Honor Harrington series is fabulous. It's, it's military sci-fi, which I know is not up everybody's alley. Oops. But Honor Harrington, she's a the first book on Basilisk, Basilisk Station. She commands this. Uh, frigate or something in who plays who's a writer right yeah I, I was fun because I don't I don't see a lot of steampunk fantasy most fantasy I see is uh, sort of pseudo medieval right but no um, Honor, so Honor Harrington she's the captain of uh you know, the space frigate thing. And, you know, she's she was given command of this ship, which had a, was sort of the pet project of some admiral, and the pet project doesn't work. And Harrington ends up taking the fall for it. So she gets shunted off to 
the aforenamed Basilisk Station. All upset because, you know, they're they're sort of stuck out there in the hind end of nowhere, thinking their careers are over and that type of thing. But it's the story is so good and, and as she works to actually do her job out here in the hind end of nowhere. And then the series goes on. It's like for 28 books following her career from her first command to what is she? I think she ends up, you know, becoming a fleet admiral or something like that. You know, it's, but he, it's interesting because Weber translates the sort of Victorian era age of sail into space, which is kind of cool. So, you know, it's uh Festa. All right, so how are we doing up front? We've got all of... Oops, I forgot. Looks like I missed some... Oh, I missed... I missed all sorts of lights. Well, that's just stupid. Okay. Bunch of lights got missed in here. Ow. Yeah, and it's fun. My my daughter is a writer, um, and she's so she's trying to get. Let's see. We just beta read a uh, one of her, her. I think the second book in her series that she's get. Um, what was she trying to do? Trying to get like the first maybe three or something books done before um, before she tries to publish which uh, I kind of understand alright and let's see so those I'm missing a bunch up there okay yep just totally missed these ones up here okay. go there that one can go there And, uh, all right. Do I have them all? Yes, I do actually have them all. Nice. Oh, well, that's just took about a thousand years longer than I wanted it to, but. Well, the first wall is in place. Now, I've got all of the frog lights and, and scaffolding in the corners. I didn't go put the scaffolding over the crosses because as I'm looking at this, I think I like it better without it. So I'm going to come down. I'm going to pull the scaffolding off the front here. And I think that's going to end up... So this looks good up close, right? This, is, this actually is a really nice pattern up close. But it's too subtle. Once you get out to a distance, right, the colors kind of disappear. Oops, hang on. <laughs> the colors kind of disappear, and you just get yellow. I mean, they're kind of there, but yeah, it, they just they just stand out going up. So yeah, I'm gonna just take the the bamboo off of here. So let's take a look. Just see what it looks like if it's just in the middle. You know, maybe I'll leave it in the middle. Uh, something I'll have to think about. I'm not totally convinced one way or another, but but yeah, that's going to look good going all the way up. I need to do the same thing on this side here and then figure out what I'm going to do on the sides that are against the hill. But I think that's going to be pretty cool going forward. Even after... I put in the missing frog lights. Ah, oh, man. Just 
missing a one. That one is... Is that one just right here? Oh, it's just right here. That's easy. Cool. All right. So now I really do need to make this decision. Uh, do I cover the center with the bamboo or leave it pink? Oh, I don't know. I mean, the, the pink looks good. The bamboo keeps the keeps the color. And, of course, you come up and it still, still looks good. Oh, man, help me out, chat. What do you think? Do you think just the plane here? <laughs> Keep your mouth zipped. Okay. <laughs> where do we put the bamboo? Because I am... This is where my artistic talent falls right off a cliff. Because the said it's... I definitely like having the exposed cherry on the, the stems of the cross. But... Uh, Oh, there's Fondus. And there goes Fondus. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Anyway. So. Yeah, I just don't. I just don't know. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards using the trap doors. Partly just to keep the color, right? So I can, you know, bring that yellow through. Uh, you don't have a strong opinion. Yeah, I see it's. See, I can, I can go both ways on this one. So the same thing. I don't have a strong opinion on it. It's. The pink is good. If I go with the pink, though, I have to be sure I. I incorporate pink in what I do here on the sides, which is fine. I can do that. Your tower looks cool. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm having a problem. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> I'm tr I'm trying to decide if I like the trap doors here, or if I want to leave them off. I think you should keep the trap doors. Keep the trap doors. Cool. I, I was looking at that. I was like, oh, that's a really nice texture. Wait, yeah. Wait, no, am I? Oh no! You, oh, you've made me start debating now. Actually, give me a minute. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but I, I really like the pink. Now that you say that. I know, right? Because both of them are cool. I originally had trapdoors covering the entire cross, but it it covered up the colors too much, and it just looked yellow. Yeah. Wait, let me cook. Wait, have you got any uh, uh pink wood? Yeah, I mean, I've got. Yeah, I've got some some cherry logs. I mean, I could. I mean, I could. I don't know. Oops, dude. Oh. Nope. <laughs> oh. How do you pick up priority? You're alive. <laughs> I know, right? I logged in first. That's it. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I could maybe use... Aha. Uh -huh. well, that could be... Um, you, you want to slide over? Do you hit that one that's over next to it? It's got the hill in front of it. I'll push it. And... You know, that... I think that might do it. We've pinked... We've, we've pinked up. We've pinked it up. <laughs> Fondus, you are a genius. I know. Say it more often, please. <laughs> <laughs> No, that is, oh, that is awesome. Okay, we can make that happen. I've got, I think I've got scaffolding for this. I was also thinking um, to give a bit of extra color outside of just the, the light gray, you could maybe use some tough uh, brick stuff mm -hmm. for the sort of edges and things. Yeah. Define it a bit more. 
Yeah, it's but de- that was just what I was thinking. It's definitely a possibility. I don't want to get busy because this is a big tower, and as soon as you start adding details, it gets busy. Well, that's, I, I don't think you should, like, detail it much, but I think just give it, like, a really simple mm-hmm. thing just to make it something pop out from just the grey. Right. You know, what I'm going to... Because the, the middle bit pops out, but I think the shape should be defined outside of just the middle detail, and I'm going to die. <laughs> Hang on, this is me. Let me let me sleep, and I'll kind of show you what I've got for a, a plan for the fronts, which might actually work well to bring in the tough. So, there's that... Okay, there they go. So there's this corner over here, right, where the, the wall stops uh-huh. that comes in here. I'm going to take out this corner and, and run the angle. Uh-huh. So I think what I'm gonna, going to do, that's going to be a lot of glass and such. So what I can do is I could actually edge this whole wall, perhaps, in tough, coming up and around both sides of it. Hmm. Maybe. I like that idea. Yeah, because it would it would keep the gray without getting too with too uh not getting too crazy. And then, you know, tie it in with the basically this big wall of glass that's gonna happen here in the corners. Do you have the glass for it? Um I have a lot of glass. I was doing villager trading yesterday. And uh, I ended up buying a lot of glass just to burn through emeralds and get XP that way. So I've got probably 8, 12 stacks maybe of glass. If I need more, I know where to get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'll, um, And it's not going to be solid glass, I think, because I've got floors that have to go in there that I need to tie in with the the windows, but fall down this mangrove tree. Or climb up it and perching. It's like at ah, jeez monkeys. Alright, uh You're not perching. No, no, I am falling. And it wasn't even with style, it was just sort it of was a just really sad. It was yeah, it's just just sort of a flop, you know. He's falling off, what can I say? Oh. This is so sad. That's it. I've, I'm washed up. That's, of course, to have been washed up, you have to have not been washed up at some point, and I'm not sure I ever was. Okay, well... <laughs> but anyway... I'm going to let you cook. <laughs> yeah, no, sounds good. Anyway, I'm going to take some... But I think you're right. Adding a little, some tough here to help break up the walls would be good. Bye. Have fun. Ah, uh, see, SMPs are awesome. When you've got amazing builders around, it's like, okay, <laughs> they will help me make this mediocre build really awesome. Like, hey, we're going to put buttons on these. This is great. Okay, see now. All right, well, this should be easy. <laughs> this isn't going to be nearly as annoying as dealing with the... Uh, the scaffolding was, or the uh, frog lights and stuff. Okay. All right, so trap door. Time to play button, button. Who's got the... Okay, yeah, this is... This is going to be good. All right. Now, yeah, I'm one of those creators who does not like to build things in, in creative first. I just, I like to build it in survival because I don't like to build it twice. But that does mean doing stuff like this is a little bit slower. The question is, is it slower than building it twice? And that, I don't know. Because I never built it in creative the first time. 
All right, let's get this second wall up and uh, huh, XP. Cool. I don't know what died there, but oh, probably uh, probably some of the sky rats. All right. I think I've managed to lose some scaffolding. Yep, I'm definitely have to make it make a trip to the spider farm and get some string. I've got plenty of bamboo, but string is lacking. Alright. But yeah, done. And I said I'm gonna tie it in over here to the this hill and it's just going to be it's going to be interesting and yeah so just make this my base and said I could put a shop on top of it or whatever I want to do but you know never preview built anything in, in single right well and part of it is too I just like to get in and build and especially right now where it's where I'm really early game and I don't have access to a lot of resources. Last thing I want to do is plan something out in creative and realize, great, I'm going to have to spend another 20 hours grinding out the resources for this thing. Which is one of the reasons I'm building it in out of stone. But plus I just, I wanted to use bamboo and that's uh I think that goes better with the lighter the lighter stone here. Ah, I've got a torch. Hang on. Got a mystery torch up here. But this is also why I like free cam. Oh I and mean, yes, free cam can be cheaty. Because you can x-ray with it a little bit and then that type of thing, but it's just for this uh this type of thing where it's like, okay, let's take a step back, take a look at the builds without having to build some platform or oh yeah, we're gonna fly off and look at it that way or something like that. You know, I could just free cam up, take a quick look at it, and Yep. Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay, now that wasn't a beautiful sound. Who's... No, no, and also no. What's wrong with you spawning in my base? I, I don't believe this is where you should be. Oh, ow. I was going to lose him in the mangrove, but I need to find... Where are his friends? Okay, come here. Where are your friends? I need them to shoot you. Hi, guys. Okay. Now, I don't have a shield, which I usually carry a shield, but apparently I don't have one now. All right. Battle arena. Shoot this guy. I don't... <laughs> Okay, yep, that's right. Go and shoot your boss. You know you want to. He's not... He's not your friend. He's the type of guy who's going to tell you that loyalty matters and then fire you the first time stock prices drop. Okay, that's right. Thank you! Okay, there you go. Goodbye. Ah, oh, Jeez, that is... He spawned in my base. Obviously, I need to light this place up more because that's just sick and wrong. All right, where's my torches? <laughs> oh, man. All right. Light levels. What do we got? Okay, they might have spawned here because I think they spawn at, like, They'll spawn on like natural blocks and something at light level seven or or lower. Oh, look at you up there! 
Yeah, and they and that's right, and they spawn during the day too, which is not at all what I would want from them. Sounds like there's a lot of him. I mean Sure, but also no. Alright. See ya friends. Yeah, maybe it's just him up there. All right. Well, we got those buttons in place. I think I've got a bow in my toolbox. Let's let's go do something about that. All right. Hi. You broke into the wrong rec room this time. There we go, see? Not for you, silly pillagers. All right, well, we'll go put the stuff back. Also, stop that recording. All right. Nice. Oh, I, I need a better bow, but hey, that one works. Okay. Nice. Well, I think yeah. let's get some more wood cooking. Uh, yeah, put that in there. Yeah, get some more cobblestone cooking because because I'm going to need the stone. Probably. But I think this is going to do it for me today. It's been it's been fun. We got a lot done framework in place we've got one wall of well four done but that's gonna be crazy that's gonna be a bit of a grind i was hoping to be able to get more of it done today but i'm not surprised that i didn't so all right well cool let's go ahead and sleep and then But it's been, it's been fun. Um, thank you all for hanging out with me while I was grinding up that tower. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. You know, all of that YouTube goodness. Next stream is going to be Saturday morning at 7.30 Mountain Daylight Time. Um, I'll be in my solo world on Saturday. So check that action out. And Mountain Daylight Time, my first uh, Tinker World video drops so be sure to check that out too and and thank you all for hanging out it, it definitely makes this a lot more fun and until next time be excellent to each other this is music free gaming signing off